Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. September 9, our market dropped 58.62 points or down 0.94% to close at 6,183.07. Value turnover is at 3.5 billion pesos. So our market retreated, snapping a four day winning streak. No? So uh, volume is very much the same, muted. No, there's nothing going on, going on with our market right now. No, so let's hope for the best this uh, uh, fourth quarter or at least matapos tong ghost month later this month. No? Anyway, uh, not much activity in the market right now. No, so you can see uh, MPI uh, still <laughs> being traded, pero you can also check naman na. Uh, they're just finalizing kung sino yung matetender dyan. Diba? There's a cut off for brokerage. Uh, by the way, no, Figaro also secured the accreditation or certification sa PESA no? as an export enterprise engaged in the production of roasted coffee. FYI lang naman. No? So, dito naman, no, also issued around uh, 2.2 billion shares to Summit Global for around 1 peso per share. Uh, therefore, decreasing the ownership uh, to just 72.91% of Dito Holdings ni Dito CME. No? So, I won't be surprised kung di na maging uh, majority si Dennis Uy here. No? So, of course, there, uh, it is also allowed under our constitution to, yun nga, no? it was also revised na foreign ownership in Telco. No? Na-lift na rin yata yun. No? So, anyway, Wilcon is also banking on the bear months for a surge in its sales, no? driven by expectations of an uptick on home improvement. No? So, Sipal no? is also partnering with LinkedIn for a better employee skill development. Speaking of Pal also, uh, they're also offering a 10% fair discount for international students age 12 to 31. This is until year end. So, Cebu Pacific naman will also be having a 4-day sale for a one-way promotional fares as low as 1 peso for selected domestic and international uh, flight for next year. Not much going on with the market right now. Uh, yun nga, no? let's monitor uh, Nickel Asia as yun nga, there's a yun sa Indonesia naman which is one of the biggest uh, nickel uh, producer in the world no? number 2 on Philippines uh, they're looking at Philippines for tighter supply no so the top producer Indonesia are making rare purchases of ore no, from the Philippines at least to ease uh, tight supplies no? so bantayan bantayan natin run right now it's very attra uh, at least Nikola Asia is uh, trading at a very attractive levels right now especially uh, special dividend season na siya, no? so around October November yan eh, no? So some firms are now buying ore you know, from uh, from the Philippines, which is the world's number two supplier. You know? Lalo na if the new mining quotas are further delayed. You know? So, <coughs> sabi ng Indonesia, you know, they already started importing this month, which is very economical. You know? So, yun nga. Uh, the problem there, no, hindi naman kasi tayo mining expert, no. Um, the one we export to Indonesia, may mga grade kasi yan eh, no. So Indonesian miners will prioritize high grade uh, ore, no, for their limited production quotas. No? So di yung mga ano kasi yan eh, no. Parang class A, class B, no. Not much. Eh. Meron tayong mga ine-export but uh in the high grade eh. no? but let's see no? uh, anyway our passcode for today is nickel no? 
So, not much activity. So, talagang it's a boring market. Normally, pag mga ganyang news, gumagalaw-galaw yan. Eh, no? But, that's it. No? So, again, thank you very much for listening. Bye!